Hi guys, Kirk and Jay and family here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, what we want to show you guys is how to apply this uh, acrylic finish. It is a very cold and windy day and we're up in the Tiburon Hills. So we're very high off the ground so the mic might catch some of that wind. Anyway, what we're doing is this product here, Synergy, uh, it is from uh, San Leandro. Uh, you can order that particular product. Brian Todd. What's Brian Todd's number? Don't call me for this product. Call Brian Todd. What is his number? Area code 510-614-8883. Anyway, I wouldn't have remembered that. Brian Todd with AMS. They are located in San Leandro. They have this uh, acrylic product. Acrylic products are only meant to be applied, say, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch thick. You take it off your hawk, put it on, get a new float guys and what we're doing is a float finish and float it. We're doing the toughest float finish there is. What is the toughest float finish? A fine sand finish. This got silica sand in it and it's very very fine so it's just J.I., Carl, and Lou here to do this so we'll show you as much as we can. I'll show you a tip guys. If you're gonna do an acrylic product you gotta tape everything it's over here. Can you see this tape? Here's what I do guys. I put one row of tape against the wall because we're going to go all the way to the top. And then I'll come here, and now with that one roll, I'll put another piece of tape to hold the paper because it's cold, it's windy. So the more tape, it'll hold it better because this stuff, if it gets on anything, it does not come off. Cover your plants, cover your decks, cover everything. In fact, this shirt I'm wearing has got some residues of another acrylic product. So it's a very messy finish, guys, but it flexes with the wall. While I'm on this stage of flexing with, or the topic of flexing with the wall, this duckle here is two inches thick. Uh, we did it about two months ago. It's two inches thick, hardly any hairlines because we went over uh, cinder block and we, were, we told the fellas dig deep enough so we could put our stucco over the rebar on top of the existing foundation. That way it's extra strength. Anyway, we hardly have any hairline cracks because again, the cinder block the sun doesn't affect the cinder block like it would this wood wall here. This wood wall, it could uh, swell up with the heat and then cause cracking in the base coat, which will crack the color coat, not with cinder block or brick. Anyway, we're going to get started. Jay and I are probably going to take this wall down, and when we get to this level here, uh, because, but because we can, and, and Carl's here also, we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, guys, we got all, all the top part done. That's the hard stuff up there. Now we're going to show you the, the, the easier stuff. Now, Jay got the hard work. He gets the credit. And right now we're, we're, we're working with extreme cold weather. It is very cold. Uh, Jay got the, uh, again, the part of, of doing the, the, the fun stuff. Yeah, he actually had the fun stuff of straddling these bars and holding on with his legs and reaching around. And as you, as I told you before, this is one dirty job. It's an acrylic. Doesn't matter how good you are, and I'm not all that good, but I don't stay clean. Nope. So he puts it on. What I'll do is feather it out. You got to know how much water to put in here. If it was a hot day, everything we do would be different. But it's a really cold day. For example, these corner we've got corner aid here. You got to pull into the corners like this. Why do we pull into it? Because if I pull away like this, I'll expose that corner aid. We don't want to do that, guys. We pull into it here. On this side, we pull into it too to cover the corner aid. Otherwise, that corner bead, corner aid, same thing, is exposed. Also, you might say, gee, you guys use all sorts of products. Which one's the best of the acrylics? They're all, well, I won't get into that, but this particular product we're using here, Synergy, it's a pretty good product. Uh, what they did is, folks who did the original house can you show that we had a bucket over there so he emailed me the bucket on the on the over there he emailed me the front it had the 
specifications it had the finish all that I could guess but I always tell folks no you guys come up with the color you come up with the finish you come up with everything and we'll apply it anyway it was found out because this fellow was pretty sh off sharp he's on the ball he kept that five gallon that he was able to take a picture send it to us and I was able to send it to all uh, Synergy and and they matched it perfectly on the money and I, I tell people you now this is four years later will this match doubtful the texture will match but the color is either going to be a tint lighter or darker because it's been on four or five years anyhow th there's no need showing the rest of it so we're going to cut this short my name is Kirk and Jason spreading as usual call on the camera and Lou mixed these up and brought them up for us. Anyhow, guys, we thank you for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.